Okay, so I thought I'd do a, a little sort of, I guess it's kind of a review, or a, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, this is my IMAX B6AC dual power built-in AC adapter um, balance charger, discharger for uh, lithium ion, uh, lithium polymer, uh, LIFEPO4 cells, nickel cadmium cells, nickel metal hydride, and lead acid batteries. Now it says that it can do 1 to 6 of the lithium cells, uh, 1 to 15 uh, nickel metal or nickel cadmium, cadmium cells, or uh, I don't know how many lead acid, but I'm not going to be doing any of those anyways. Um, it's got a charge rate of 1 to 6. Or 0.1 to 6 amps and a discharge rate of 2 amps maximum. Um, it says that it's got a temperature, internal temperature sensor, which it does not. It does have on the side of it uh, where you can plug in um, the temperature sensor of a battery cell. Um, it's really in inaccessible actually. Uh, so I don't know how most people would ever plug that in. Um, I'll show you. Where is it? Okay, I took off the side plates of this. So, here's the side plate. Okay, so that, that goes there. That goes like that, and now uh, that's where you're supposed to plug in the uh, the temperature sensor. I don't know if you can see. There's three little pins in there. How are you ever supposed to fit any sort of a cable in there, or any sort of connector? It's got to be really, really tiny. Um, so yeah, I think that's just ridiculous, you know. So anyways, I took this cover off to see if those actually were temperature port or temperature sensing uh, pins just to make sure I'm not connecting to something I shouldn't be. And, uh, I don't know, I still can't really tell. It doesn't matter, because I'm not going to be using this. And I'll tell you why I'm not going to be using this. <clears throat> I found out that this is actually a knockoff of, uh, of what's called uh, the Sky RC um, battery balance charger. Um, apparently they took the Sky RC chip and software that was on the uh, microprocessor and oh, and they just copied it and stole stole it basically and uh, made a shittier version that doesn't really work that that good. Um, the one problem that I have with it, the main problem, is the, the, it's the reason I'm not going to use this, is because um, it actually overcharges the, lith the lithium cells. It's supposed to cut them off at uh, 4.2 volts. Um, it's not supposed to get any higher charge than that. It gets up to like 4.25, 4.26. I've seen it get as high as 4.29 um, before it cuts it off. So every time that it goes above 4.2, it's doing damage. Um, I actually bought another one of these, which was a cheaper one because it didn't have a, didn't have the AC adapter built in. And the one that was cheaper actually works way better, and uh, it's more reliable. It's got a more stable output voltage, and uh, in general, this one, I'd never uh, recommend buying it to anybody. Um, there is a the the software on the on this one is a little bit glitchy. The the menus, um, the order that they scroll through in is really strange. It's it really takes a little bit of getting used to. Whereas with the legitimate uh, version of this, or the more legit legitimate one, um, the menus are a lot easier to navigate. They're, they seem to be in a better, more correct order than, than with this one. So, that being said, um, I wanted to take it apart and see if I could find maybe a potentiometer that uh, would allow me to adjust the maximum output voltage um, and get it from down to under 4.2 volts for per cell for the for the lithium ions. 
Um, now, so I took the two side plates off, um, and five screws on each side, and it looks like uh, that's the, the power module there, um, which is kind of funny. It looks like they just bought some sort of uh, computer power supply module, laptop power supply module off, the, off of eBay and uh, stuck it in there. So, let's see. Yeah, you can see there should have been, there probably was meant to be some sort of label stuck on there if it was going to be a, a laptop power supply or something like that. And uh, yeah, they just didn't put one on. So that kind of tells you, that's a red flag right there. <laughs> um, and, uh, let's see if I can get the rest of this apart. Let's see if I can get that circuit board out. Okay, I'm going to have to put the camera down.